I just got new lures. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Verdi. Hello everyone, so I got new lures, but today was not from AliExpress, it was from Wavin. Starting with this Quantum, it's a Shatterbait, it's the 4th Street Mini, it's a 3.5 grams. They also have it in 5 grams and 7 grams. They have 6 colors, this is the natural. It, I only bought it because it has a very very small hook and it's not that expensive, it's about 2 euros. The hook comes with a nice cover, you can see the 4 Street symbol on the blade on the shutter bait. And I hope it will catch me a lot of fish. And now for something fancier, this is the Rapala Mino Countdown. It's a sinking Mino, it has 25 millimeters, it weighs 2.7 grams and this is expensive at least for my taste it's 10 euros but it's made by hand it's tested it has a for sure sinking rate of one feet per second it's made on europe it's made of balsa it's from rapala it's funky looking and it has nice vmc hooks on the back i sure hope not to lose it and that it catch me a lot of fish because with this i could buy three nice lures from aliexpress and now for the smallest jointed crankbait on the market, the Shimano Cardi Shibitoro 25mm 1.4 grams. It's the smallest that I could find. Unfortunately, Wave In only has this color, which is black with a painted bill on it. It's very hard to go on the box, I can tell you. It, everything is on Japanese, which is nice and chibi in japanese means cute or small so you can see why they call it this the chibi toro supposedly there are 10 colors one of them it's naked but i could only get this one which is from for me the worst it comes with a single hook on the back it's made based on the body of the fuotaro and you can get it also on 35 millimeters on the same series also as a jointed lure in uh, deep diving and shallow diving versions this is a deep diving version i don't know how deep it will go but i will be testing it soon it's around seven euros and continue with the double jointed crankbaits i got this spro ikiro it's a 35 millimeter lure with 3.4 grams it's a double crank it uh, dives until 0.8 of a meter it's, uh, at least is what it says on the box it comes with uh, double hooks, which is nice. One of them is red. I think it's to mimic a uh, hunted fish. And this is the reason why I didn't get also the 35mm version from Shimano. Because I wanted to try. Because a lot of people say that Spro lures are nice. And Spro is a sleeper brand. And I can tell you that this is an affordable lure. Coming it at 6 euros or, or uh, right about that. I don't know how will be the action. The lure has a lot of quality, at least on the hand. Uh, the hooks are very, very sharp. The bill has, it's a very, very clear plastic, which is always a good indication. It also has the markings everywhere. The action on the tail, it's a little bit iffy. It goes up and down. I will see it on the water, how it will perform. But nonetheless, it has a solid look to it it feels like it will be catching fish even though the color is a natural one and i saved the worst for last today this is the berkeley pulse fry dip 38 millimeters 4.6 grams and it looks awful even inside the box i can tell that this doesn't look any quality bait this looks way worse than a 3 euro lure from aliexpress uh, I don't know how it will be the action. I was almost killing myself to take the lure out of the box, but for six euros, I would expect a little bit better because I ordered also some things from Striking, which is cheaper than Berkeley, and they have a nicer look to the lures and a better finishing. And holding it in the hand, it doesn't feel any better. It just feels like a five pack deal that you get for six euros on uh, timo it's very 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 unsatisfying the finish on this lure and with this underwhelming lure by berkeley i will see you guys on my next video bye